How to create a red ray animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project edit window, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select generators and go to add a noise gradient filter to your edits timeline. Use the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A to click and drag by the end of the noise gradient edit to change the duration if you wish, keeping an eye on the change in duration displayed as the top number in the black box which appears alongside your mouse cursor with the overall duration of the edits displayed underneath. Right click on your noise gradient edit and go to open infusion page. Select the node representing your noise gradient, go to inspector and select version 6. To have the rays displayed vertically change angle to 90 and to increase the speed of your animation Increment C through 8 to 0 0.4. Go to select gradient. Ensure that the triangle representing the white color shade of your rays is selected. Double click on the box representing this shade color. And in the color window which appears, select a vibrant red shade for your rays. The hex decimal code for this particular shade is hash FF0000. Click OK. Select the triangle on the gradient bar representing the black shade. In order to enhance the presence of the red rays on your animation, we will decrease the amount of black which appears in your video. Increment the value for this black shade to 0.34. With the noise gradient edit still selected, hold and shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the soft glow tool. Select this and go to click on add. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, we wish to maintain the size of the glow to expand the red shade across your animation clip, but we wish to decrease the vibrancy slightly. Therefore, we will decrease the value of gain to 0.5. With Soft Glow still selected, hold and Shift and press Space again. And this time, go to add the DVE tool. We will use this tool to position the light rays on the top half of your screen. With this node selected, under Inspector and Controls, ensure that the rotation order is set to ZYX. Increase X itself to 81.5 and decrease perspective to 0.3. With the DVE tool selected still, hold and shift and press space. And go to select the Normal Transform tool, not the Transform XF tool. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, to have the rays stretch across the empty sections, increase the width value to 2.5. Now hold in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and select the Noise Gradient tool along with the three tools that you inserted into this project in Fusion, leaving out the Media Out 1 tool in this selection. Hold in Control and press C to copy. Deselect your highlighted nodes by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid and hold in Control and press V to paste. We will use these duplicated tools to create the bottom half of our animation effect. In order to connect these to your final video nodes, select the original Transform 1 node, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Merge tool. Select the grey box next to the duplicated Transform 1 tool, and drag this to the green foreground arrow above Merge 1 to make a connection. To flip the duplicated Noise Gradient node to the bottom side of the screen, First select the duplicated Transform 1 node. Under Inspector and Controls, tick the Flip Vertical box. And to shift the bottom half of this animation effect down slightly, I will decrease position Y to minus 0.08. When I zoom into the Fusion Preview window, we can see that the red rays on the upper section of the animation clip mirror those on the bottom half. In order to add variation to this bottom section, select the duplicated Noise Gradient tool and increase the seeth value to 0.5. We can also see from this close-up preview that when the red rays reach the center of the screen, they are cut off by square ends. In order to have the red rays blend into the center of the screen instead, select your Merge 1 node, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a second Merge tool. Deselect this new node, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Rectangle tool. With this new node selected, if I zoom out of my preview window, we can see an outline of the new shape represented by the green lining. 
under Inspector and Controls, increase Soft Edge to 0.01, which will add a blur effect to the edges of our shape, increase Width to 1.1, so that the left and right sides of this rectangle expand beyond the sides of this canvas, and to ensure that this rectangle is only positioned along the center line of the screen in between the two noise gradient filters, decrease height to 0.04. Click on the red center box of your rectangle and drag this to the middle of your canvas. Deselect your rectangle node, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a background tool. We will use this node to apply a black shade to our new shape which can be used to make the red rays blend into the center once they reach this spot. Connect the rectangle node to the blue effect arrow alongside background one. And finally, connect the background node to the green foreground arrow of merge two. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.